I'm Elisa, and we're going to present our, our project of metabolic engineering, and it's the industrial production of sideroffers using metabolic engineering method, methodologies in Escherichia coli. Well, um, in this project, we propose three strategies to increase the production of sideroffers, and we're going to present you the importance of a study of these molecules and well the proposals and, and we are going to discuss which is the best uh, strategy to produce these molecules. Uh, well as we already know antibiotic resistance is one of the biggest problem in the global health and this situation has some consequences such as the increase of cost of medical, uh, the higher medical cost, uh, a prolonged uh, hospital stays, and it also can increase the mortality rate in the uh, society. Uh, well, some research and investigations uh, are have the goal to avoid this situation. I mean, the antibiotic resistance and there's some way to avoid this problem and is the, um, the it, uh, resin has a possible solution to this problem by the employment of the Trojan horse strategy using cider office and that is the importance of these molecules and these molecules are used as an iron uptake system to enter and kill bacteria well, as we know, uh, as we said before, sideroffers are small organic molecules with high affinity to ferric iron compounds, and uh, and these uh, and these molecules are excreted by some organisms uh, such as E. coli. And the sideroffers are part of non-ribosomal peptides, which are products found in nature and hold. A uh, huge anti uh, antimicrobial and pharmaceutical potential, and also antitumoral uh, activity. Also, they are metal cheating molecules produced under iron limited conditions. Um, uh, just to add some information here, uh, non ribosomal peptides are peptides that are synthesized by non ribosomal peptide synthesizers and the difference between the ones that use uh, ribosomes are that they are um, independent of messenger RNA. Okay, uh, there are uh, various chemical structures uh, of siderophores and the family has at least 500 different compounds and the most common are catechols, hydroxyamic acids and carboxylate. And several studies have shown that uh, the siderophore drug conjugates make it possible to design antibiotics with improved cell transport and reduce the frequency of resistant mutants. Uh, in many microorganisms, such as Escherichia coli, iron is essential because it is uh, used in DNA replication, production of energy, and protection against oxidative stress. And uh, we chose uh, Escherichia coli uh, for uh, our model organism because it grows very quickly and it has uh, it produces cider forest uh, naturally. Um, within the application of cider forest, uh, it is the production of antibiotics like uh, vomicins, pyrimicins, zanomycins, salmicins, and tetracyclines that can bind to iron in order to produce some biological activities. Uh, also, there is the application uh, to uh, bioremediation bio uh, because uh, of the ability to bind with a variety of metals uh, in addition to iron. Uh, one example is the, uh, the trace of metals in the, in the sea. Okay, so this study is very important because, as we previously mentioned, antibiotic resistance is a worldwide problem uh, that is affecting people everywhere. 
Just in the US, it is estimated that antiviral resistance to infections may cost as much as 20 million X dollars extra in healthcare costs per, per year. It is calculated that 64% of patients infected with resistant, methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus patients are more likely, more likely to die than patients without the resistant form of the infection. And well, Cedar Force are secondary metabolites that uh, promise to deliver a successful alternative for traditional antibiotics and to deliver them in order correct to deliver their, to deliver them cor correctly uh, to cells in order to fight bacteria. Well, uh, our hypothesis is that cider well cyderophores are uh, are possible to reproduce. Usually, they are produced in small quantities, but they can be promoted during iron starvation. Also, we will use uh, the increase of substrate and the increase of enzyme concentration to to achieve this strike this overproduction and. Uh, well, it is possible because E. coli produces uh, enterocalin that is a cyderophore naturally, so we know that this is possible. Okay, as I said before, we found that receptors for cider offers and this is good for us because that increases the ability to ingest uh, iron cider offers complex and well in the uh, literature we found that um, a recommended iron concentration for in the medium uh, are on 1 to 2.2 2 microliters in medium to facilitate the cider of production. The second strategy is increasing the amount of substrate. Uh, several studies show that succinate is a very important uh, substrate for cider pro production. And in the case of Pseudomonas aeruginosa, as a model organism, the best concentrations of succinate are 0.49 grams per 100 milliliter, milliliters at pH 7.0, 7.8, sorry, uh, with a stable temperature of 27.8 uh, Celsius. Uh, inside, uh, all of this is inside a 5 milliliter bioreactor, and levels can result in a 69.48% yield after 24 hours of incubation. Uh, okay, for uh, to achieve the third strategy, that is to increase the amount of the of the enzyme, we are going to use genetic engineering. Uh, the enzyme that we want to increase is the uh, charisma tape that is this one here, uh, and uh, we are going to use the PET uh, twenty eight A vector with a T7 promoter that is from a bacteriophage, a LAT1 repressor, the T7 uh, RNA polymerase, and of course the gene of interest that is the isochorismatase enzyme B. So this strategy is developed to uh, in increase, well, to direct carbon flux to this side of the pathway. So this is the enzyme that we want to increase or to overexpress. So this, uh, when this enzyme is overexpressed, all of the carbon flux will be pulled from the other branch. So here we have the most important cyber force, including enterocalin, that is this one. And that way we will be overexpressing this side of the pathway and suppressing the left hand side of the pathway. So, um, uh, there are many, well, we, we have many results. Um, one of the results is 
that uh, several studies agree that as the removal of the fire protection medium results in higher levels of cider alcohol, while also they increase the synthesis of fiery multiral outer member proteins. And also, when uh, we increase the concentration of iron in the medium, we increase bacterial growth. However, we decrease the production of ciderophores. And it also remains to be seen if ciderophores uh, are important in, in any other metabolic reactions. So, if we uh, overproduce these, these metabolites, we might downregulate our metabolic reaction. Well, we based in, in three different uh, papers, which are this one: <laughs> static base optimization and scale of the zero production producing laboratory bioreactor. This uh, in this paper, the uh, is the first um, proposed that is the um, increase the amount of succinyl acid, and these have a result of, of 78.41% uh, production of cider up and well there are two the two um, best uh, strategies were, were this one and the autotrophy uh, iron so but in the production of cider up it declined 80% in addition of iron uh, so in the culture medium, well here we can uh, observe the detection of the cider up and well the results of of each one of the proposals. Um, okay, uh, uh, from the three strategies that we proposed, uh, the two uh, the the two that were the best uh, were iron autotrophy and the increase of the concentration of succinate in the medium because we found in, in papers that they had been proved that strategies and that they were successful. Also, the results of the increase of the enzyme concentration using uh, genetic engineering uh, could be not uh, precise since, since it's not known that uh, the enzyme has negative feedback over its own production. And uh, the advantages of the, the two best strategies are that they were proven uh, in other microorganisms and with, su with successful results. And it is known that E. coli has the same pathway for biosynthesis of these molecules. On the other hand, uh, the iron exotrophy is very easy to perform because uh, when you uh, uh, when you remove the iron from the medium, uh, it activates a mechanism in E. coli that increases the production of cyber force uh, in order to compensate the lack, of, the lack of iron without making any genetic modification. Well, as conclusions, uh, we remind you the objective of this project that is to accomplish the best strategies to overproduce cider offers for uh, to avoid or prevent antibiotic or antibiotical resistance, which is a global problem. Uh, well, recently, development of new anti antibiotics and diagnose, diagnosis techniques analyze the resistant bacteria, and this is a important branch of science. And we as biotechnologists, we can work in this. Uh, problem because this could, could involve the metabolic engineering, genetic engineering, and also bio, bio, bioinformatic tools are very useful. Um, to achieve the objective, there are proposed three strategies that we present before, and uh, we conclude that the iron isotropy and the and the increase of the carbon source are the best strategies and um, that's all. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, do you have any questions or suggestions or <laughs> <laughs> Why you
choose the IT28 vector for your project? Uh, because it has a high copy number and because of the promoter, because we have we want uh, a lot.